What is going on guys, it's your boy, Mr. Wanasan, back again with another After Effects video tutorial. Wow! And today guys, we're going to be taking our graphic design skills to the next level, and we're going to be creating motion graphics, or motion titles slash typography. Yes guys, we're going to be upgrading, we're going to be going from trigonometry to calculus, we're going to be going from uh, console to PC, we're going to be going, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going from Maine to Finsta real quick. Uh, we're going to be going Lion Kai Baptist to IPA. Uh, we're going to be going from um, marijuana to crack. Uh, but before that, um, make sure you guys put your we're going from A to B memes down below um, in the comments down below. Anyways, let's learn um, the basics of After Effects since it is a new program. First things first, we need to start a new project. So to do that, when you open up After Effects, if you get this window, you can just go to New Project. If you don't get the window, you can go to File, New Project, or right over here. And when you go to New Project, you're going to, um, you should get a window that pops up. Um, if it doesn't pop up, you can go to New Composition or File, New Composition. For the sake of the video, everything here is just about um, correct. We don't really need to change much. I would change the title. I'll name this motion title. And one more thing, we're going to be lowering the duration from 30 seconds to 10 seconds. We don't need to have that much time on our timeline. And we're going to hit OK. So this is After Effects, a new program. Scary, I know, but it's very similar to Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, Premiere, etc. All the Adobe Creative Cloud programs are similar so if you know one um, some things will look familiar to you so and this window right here is our project window this is where our files are going to be imported um, music files uh, image files video files um, to import stuff you would go to file import and you can do file or multiple files but we're not going to be importing things for this project we're just going to be playing around with typography and this window is your composition window this is where you'll preview your motion graphics, um, your video, uh, whatever is going to be on the screen is going to appear right here. Um, down here is your, uh, your timeline and your, where your layers are going to be. Your layers are going to be right here. Um, timeline because this is a, uh, this is a video program, um, you're going to be exporting video from this. Uh, if your screen looks different, make sure you guys are on the default the default workspace. You can check that by um, seeing which uh, workspace is highlighted in blue. Make sure you're on default because if you're not, you're not going to be able to see this toolbar right here. And the two that we're going to be focusing on today is the character toolbar and the paragraph toolbar. And you can open those and close them by clicking on uh, next to their names. And they look exactly right like Photoshop and Illustrator, character windows, all the things you need are right here. Font, type of font, or font style, size, etc., etc. Paragraph, you have your left justify, center justify, right, stuff like that. Those are the windows for now, so let's go over a couple more things. Your toolbar is up here. A lot of them are similar to the other um, Creative Club programs. You have your selection tool. Right, your hand tool, zoom tool, um, rotate tool. The one we're gonna be using for this uh, tutorial is the text tool. And just like Photoshop, there are other um, tool types hidden if you click and uh, hold down on that tool. So let's put down a text layer. So with the text tool selected, we're going to click and drag and make a text box. And that's going to create a uh, an area for us to write our text. So let's put in some a test word. The first the first word that comes to to my mind is uh, a word that um, that was said a lot um, when I was chaperoning for seventh grade camp. And that word that really stood out to me that the seventh graders wouldn't stop saying was the word uh, moist. Now, with this word, right. Um, we can we can highlight it. We can go to character. We can change the font, right? 
different fonts just like that highlight it first um, I kind of like this one I like Berlin and with this font down we have our first text layer so we can use the guitar pick to scrub through the video right um, in the timeline if I wanted the all you gotta do is click and drag it if I wanted this layer to disappear after three seconds I can scrub over to three seconds and hit the close bracket key and that will delete everything after three seconds after that we're going to be looking at some transformation options in other Adobe programs you have lots and lots of drop down uh, menus and you find those by clicking the arrow right right over here and we're going to be going to transform now there's a bunch of different things we can do with this we can animate this make it move uh, make it bigger make it spin right to do that we're going to be setting these things that we call keyframes now keyframe is basically a it's 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 instructions to tell the animation what to do at this point in time and what to be looking like at this point in time so i want my word moist to move from here to down here over three seconds so to do that i'm going to hit the position keyframe then i can uh, go to the move tool scrub a little bit over here and move it down and that will set a keyframe um, you can move it wherever right and that's going to del that's going to tell the computer that you want this text layer to move from this original point to this point over the course of two and a half seconds so to preview and we'll see what this looks like you can hit the space bar so we need to scrub to the beginning you can hit the space bar to see it move like that you can do this with a bunch of other transform options you can do scale so i want it to be this big at that point we're going to scrub to the other keyframe or a little bit above a little bit after and we're going to increase the size of this by clicking and dragging the percentage option right there and so let's scrub to the beginning and let's hit spacebar you can do this with rotation as well we'll hit a keyframe for rotation and we'll go a little bit over here and we will just make this thing go crazy put it back in this position so after we set a rotation, we can hit the space bar and you'll see that we've animated this really, really poorly. Um, one more thing right, about keyframes, if we want to make, um, we want a smoother animation, right? After Effects has this really cool feature built in um, that actually smooths out your animations. And to do that, you must select all the keyframes that you want to do this to and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be smoothing out our keyframe movement by holding by hitting uh, Fn and F9 at the same time. If you press F9 by itself, it's probably going to open up your um, whatever hotkey that your computer is assigned for that F9. So to hit to actually hit the F9 key, we need to hold down Fn and then press F9, and that's going to make our keyframes look like little uh, little hourglasses so we'll see the difference by hitting spacebar and we're going to control z to see what it looks like without that option on so a really really subtle difference but um, when we do more text stuff when we do better um, more simpler animations, it will show up uh, more drastically. So we're, gonna, we're going to re-add that smoothing by holding Fn and pressing F9. Now, we did a lot to this. Um, we don't want our project to crash. As you know, crashes can ruin projects. And you'll spend hours and hours on your project 
at this point in time, you should be saving as much as possible. But we didn't save for the first time. So to save a project, we're going to go to File, Save As, Save As, and we're going to name our project Motion Title and save it to our folder. Okay, just like all the other programs, the hotkey to save your project is Control S, and you should be doing this as much as possible, probably like every 15 seconds if you want to save. The final thing that I'm going to teach you is exporting, and to do that you're going to be going to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and it's not going to allow you to export yet. You need to change some settings first. Excuse me. Ugh. So to change those settings, you're going to go and check a couple things. We're going to look in best settings really quick. Check out what we have here. Everything looks good. Quality is best. Yes, yes, everything looks good. Keyframes are correct. We're good here. Next, we need to look at um, output module. So we're going to click on lossless. And we're going to see if we uh, if we want to export this as something else, maybe like an MP3 or a QuickTime, this will create a .mov file um, that can be opened on uh, Apple computers. Um, or if we want to change it to an MP3, because we're uh, SoundCloud rappers and we're going to be uploading to SoundCloud, you can do it right there. Um, pro tip for you um, music producers, WAV is a better quality uh, audio file than MP3. Um, but we're going to stick to AVI, that's going to be fine. That can be opened on um, Mac and uh, PC using VLC player. So we're going to hit OK. And the last thing we need to do is change um, our output destination. We need to know where we're going to be outputting um, this file to, so we're going to hit not yet specified, and we're going to export this to our folder. We're going to hit save, and finally the render option will pop up. So once you're done with your project, um, you must do these three things. Hit these three hyperlinks, right? and then it will allow you to render. And as it renders, it will preview your animation. And after that, you should be done. But with that said, that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure you know when I upload. Make sure to buy my merch, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.